Hey guys, today I'm back with a sad slash happy story. So I have this story and I want to share it with people, but whenever I go near them, they start running away. And why you ask? I don't know. Do they have a disease called running away from me? No. Then why do they run away from me? So with hope, I came to my dearest robot friend, Noah. He's a robot that my friend Cameron engineered and gave me after a long story slash incident, which doesn't need to be explained. Hey Noah, can you come here for a second? You want to hear my story that would hopefully entertain you? You're my one and only friend that is awesome, trustworthy, amazing, incredible. So I came to you. So in my story, there's a superhero. Do you know how powerful he is? If he looks at something really seriously, it burns into ashes. If he dips his head into water and then shakes his head, the water from his head will travel miles and miles. Would that happen to a normal person? No. And if a plant gets that water, it won't need a water problems for a year. That's just awesome. Also, if he blows wind, all the city will get covered in dust. Really, trust me. I won't live in that city if I were there. And if he takes his t-shirt off and, wait, one minute, I'll be back. And does this, all, all the people in the city will get cool air. Because of my superhero, all the people in the city stopped by air conditioners. Cool, right? Well, not that cool at this moment though, but he's still cool. But one day, a gang of villains came to defeat my hero. But guess what? They didn't. Instead of them, my hero was the one who defeated them. In your face, villains! My hero defeated the villains by blowing and making revolting winds that were high and powerful at the same time. And do you know what happened to the villains? They got stuck in thorny bushes and never came out. Now can you see how powerful my hero is? And whenever my hero gives big strong high fives, all the apples or seeds from trees fall down all at once. So what the people in the city do is call my superhero when they need coconuts or something and then they tell him to give them strong, big high fives. Lifesaver, right? So what the other evil men did was call my hero to a big field of apple trees and told him to give them hundreds, hundreds, millions and millions of high fives. The evil plan was to make my hero really tired that eventually he would die. Da, da, da. But my superhero already had a plan. His plan was to wear super sunglasses, his super gloves, his super belt, and this little thing that was in his ear. It was called his super Bluetooth speaker. He had all this equipment on because he was wearing making this horrible big sound that was making the supervillains deaf. How clever is my superhero, Noah? <laughs> Told you. One day, my hero wanted to eat a nice, ripe, delicious banana. After he munched on the banana, he threw the peel on the ground. And then he thought of walking backwards. He knew that walking backwards was a new style and it was trending these days. At once, he stepped on the banana peel that he threw away and fell down. <sighs> he fell into a deep, deep sleep that no one can ever, ever wake him up again. Normally in the story, the superhero does not die. But in my story, I want to make it powerful. So in my story, he died. I think you like that story, Noah. What? Where is he? Where did he go? What's that? Noah, what's wrong? Uh-oh. Noah, what's wrong with you? 
Uh oh. I think I should get out of here before he explodes into pieces and Cameron gets really mad at me. See you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And you guys get out of here because he, he would explode into pieces and die.